Hey guys, this is Dagon123, and welcome to... Dagoncast! Hello everyone. And welcome to the next exciting episode of TenchiCast, presented by TenchiForum.com. May 26th, 2014. The day, today, Memorial Day. A new Tenchi series has been announced. I, Tenchi Muyo, otherwise known as Tenchi Muyo Love. And we are going to talk about it here, the crew of Tenchi Forum, to let everybody know all about the excitement, all about what's going on, what's probably going to happen, what we think might happen, and just everything in between. So here's the rundown so far. It was announced on ANN that the city of Takahashi in Okayama Prefecture announced that they are raising money to fund a new Tenchi Muyo series. I, Tenchi Muyo. Tenchi Muyo Love. And Tenchi Muyo Love will be set in the city of Takahashi. It is being used to move tourism towards there since Okayama Prefecture, for those of you who don't know, is where Ryoko's Cave and the Masaki Shrine are said to be. The series is set to run for five minute episodes with 50 of them, and they will start airing on Tokyo MX in October. Some other interesting little tidbits on this that's not in the ANN article is that the 50 episodes, which comes out to about eight and a quarter or so, normal size 30 minute episodes if you do the math are going to be going to dvd which was not mentioned at ann because i didn't go through and actually translate the article it is showing up in a lot of the japanese news it's on their wiki uh for tenchi muyo it's in a bunch of places already it's notable that kajishima is listed as the character creator or the designer but it's being helmed up by a, another gentleman who's worked on everything but essentially OVA3. But we'll get into that more here in a minute or two. Obviously, of course, we're all very uh, excited. And this is probably going to be the most raw Tenchi cast uh, for a while because some of us have only just found out about this minutes ago. My first reaction is, oh my gosh, new Tenchi, of course. I am even more heartened to see who is on it and what their experience is. I'm glad to see um, Misaki Kajishima, the original character creator, is involved, but I'm also glad to see that he's not, at least as we so far we can tell, the guy running the show. We have an experienced hand, as JG said, um, running the series, apparently, and I'm excited to see what they're going to do. It seems to me like the five-minute episode format is going to be much more um, comical, real-life based than the... Uh, the space fantasy that we're used to, which, take it as you will, I mean, I prefer it to be space fantasy, but it seems like, especially since this is going to be tourism-based, that it's going to try and highlight some of the fun aspects of the town that, what is it, T Takahashi, is that the town? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it seems like it's going to be like having fun in Takahashi, which is great, and it's also great that uh, we're going to see more of Okiyama, we're going to see more of these characters in their home. And I'm looking forward to it. It seems to be a little bit more than just a fun show, but not nearly as complicated as some of the uh, OVA3 continuity problems that we've talked about before. So I'm, I'm hopeful that this show will not only be good, but also gin up some interest. And possibly we can see either a full-fledged series or a movie at some point. So one could say Tenchi in Takahashi? Indeed. Yeah, I found out about this like an hour ago, and I was like, "Oh my god!" But like, I, I didn't, I didn't even believe the news. I, uh, I was like scrambling for sources. Like, okay, this is actually happening, and fifty-five minute episodes, and it's like comedy, and yeah, I'm really excited about this, and that's for tourism. I, I hope it helps the city, brings in a lot of money. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I hope it does really well. Very interesting day indeed. Um, when I woke up this afternoon, this wasn't the news I was expecting to hear. I just thought, oh, you know, it's going to be a normal day, nothing too exciting. A new Tenchi anime announced, and I'm like, wait, what? This can't be true. It's not time for the summer comic yet yet. And sure enough, it is. Um, I don't know. It, it turns out I was right. 
in uh, my translation of 1312, they said a new Tenchi anime was coming. And sure enough, it was. I didn't think it would be this one. I thought it would be OVA 4 or whatever. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. It's been so long since we've had a true Tenchi series, not GXP, War on Gemini, or any of that stuff. So I will gladly take this with open arms. And I'm, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it. You know, I, I don't know if they'll try and tie if into any of this. I highly doubt they will just because the city's pumping money into this thing and Kajishima's not directing it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this one to be sure. We had seen this coming for a long time. We just didn't know exactly what it was going to be. You know, if if you look back at our previous podcast where we talked it in about Tenshi Muyo If in 1312, there were multiple anime projects in production. This we now know that Tenshi Muyo Love, uh, Tenshi Muyo Love was one of those projects that Kajishima. You know, we we'd always wondered uh, because of the way that Kajishima works. He doesn't like working with other people. We now see that this is why that is, is because this they didn't want him in the driver's seat for this. They wanted this to drum up, you know, tourism for Okayama, for the city of Takahashi. And they really wanted to make it they wanted it to be fun, you know, from the from the article that you can see, they said it's five minute, you know, bits of comedy, gag comedy, uh just just the, the Tenshi gang being fun, having fun around Takahashi. You know, so in a lot of ways it will be a Tenshi in Takahashi. You heard it here first, folks. Sorry. But, uh, you know, a lot of the things that we had been saying came true. Did we Did we cover AIC getting bought for $80 in a podcast? No, no because the, the news came out literally 30 minutes after we shut down the podcast room. Oh my yeah. god. That's right. Yes. Anyway, for anybody who doesn't know, our last podcast where we talked about that, literally... Literally, as Chuck said, 30 minutes after we got done, they AIC announced that they had been bought back for $80, 80 US dollars. Now, you're probably going to wonder, what does this have to do with anything? Well, the important thing to note here is that the company that's primarily working on this new Tenchi series is not AIC. AIC was not mentioned as the, the company producing the anime. Now, for those of you who may or may not know how things structurally work, and even then, most of us aren't necessarily proficient in understanding how big business like that works, one of the things is the possibility that Tenchi is no longer owned by AIC. It is owned by a separate entity, and that was one of the things that had to happen for them to buy themselves back. It's interesting, too, that Inoue, uh, who had, was the producer for every series but OVA3, was put back in the driver's seat. Like, he is the guy for this. So, you know, we don't know if this is supposed to be canon. It's more than likely not going to be canon, and I use canon very, very liberally. So, we start asking ourselves, will we see Kione again? Those questions are make everything exciting. I personally, I was sitting outside, and you know, I figured all oh, Memorial Day, we're going to sit outside, everybody's cooking, you know, cooking out on the grills, and everything smells nice. And I just, I sat out on the porch for two hours. I came back in, and my phone is exploding with, oh my god, new Tenchi series announced, Tenchi Muyo Love. I love the title, by the way. Oh my god, that title is delicious. Thank you for making a good title, something that you could put on a box. Funimation, if you steal this, I want money for this one. But it, it's just, it's so exciting right now. Like, it's so exciting to be a Tenchi fan. Absolutely. It's goodness. I mean, I was not around when uh, the older series, I mean, it, we, we joke around, we say older series like OVA3 and GXP, but those were also pretty big when they were announced, uh, but I wasn't around, so I can only imagine that this is very similar. Um, I think hindsight being what it is, I have more hope for this than I would for, for the others, but again, this is great. And I like I liked what you were talking about, uh, Dagon, with the acquisition of AIC, or the, I guess the reacquisition of AIC. Because um, that's the first thing I thought of too when I when I read that it, they bought themselves back from their former parent company for eighty bucks. That looks great, but behind the scenes, it's almost definite that they had to give something up. They had to give up something really valuable in order to buy themselves back. And it looks now like it's very probable that what they gave up was licenses, including Tenshi Muyo. So where where that where that takes Tenshi Muyo from here going forward, we don't know. We don't know for for a fact that AIC doesn't have it. We don't know for a fact who does have it. So 
if in fact AIC does not have it, that could have really big ramifications for what we see in the future after Tenshi Muyo Love. Because if AIC doesn't have it, then all the people who worked on it in the past, including Misaki Kajishima, Hiroki Hayashi, Naoko Hasegawa, all of them, they're going to have to come, if they want to be involved in this, they're going to have to come to whoever owns it now, without the benefit of having worked for them in the past. And that could mean good things. That could also mean questionable things. So we have to see where it leads. But I am optimistic at this point, because new Tenshi in any form is good, but new blood in Tenshi... That's a combination for greatness, I think. Uh, another thing, we, we had talked about a DVD being made for this. Now, you would look at something like Italia, where the episodes are extremely short. Uh, but Ital Italia itself is made, uh, you know, it, it was going to be put on DVD. You know, something like this, where you say it's promoting tourism, you don't know if that's going to be something that is put on DVD. But the fact that they're putting it on DVD and releasing it in the home video market is important because it means we'll probably get it over here in the West. It means that depending on how it goes, I, I don't know how many of our starry-eyed viewers right now are uh, big Ghost in the Shell fans, but Arise in Japan, they completely got new, say, new, new seiyu. They are completely new voice actors. Unfortunately, if you're a fan of Mary Elizabeth McGlynn and Richard Ebcar and so on, they will not be returning for Arise, the dub that Funimation is doing. So we have our hope, we have our fingers crossed that these little shorts will have, you know, Masami Kikuchi and Ayora Kasa and uh, Chisa Yokoyama. You know, we'll have the original Seiyu back because then we might just see our original voice actors come back. And that's, that, that's just, it's so, it, it's so exciting to know about that because it's, it means that we're going to be seeing more Tenchi. People will be engrossed in it. And it, it, like I said, it's so exciting because unlike with OVA 3, this is something on its own. This is something that anybody can enjoy. This is something that you don't have to deal with convoluted garbage. And uh, you, you won't have to deal with any of that. It is an extremely exciting time to be a Tenchi fan because... It, it's just, it's fun. Like, that's what Tenchi is. Tenchi is fun. And that's what all of these shorts, all of these 50 five-minute shorts are supposed to be, is fun. And I gotta tell you, the, the thing I want to know the most is I want to see a preview. I want to see what the animation looks like. But more importantly, I want to see if Kione comes back. Because if Kione comes back, there's a certain party that Tenchi Forum is going to have that you'll probably see on social media networks later on. Did I step into an actual podcast here? Th yeah. This is an actual podcast. Oh, Jesus. I, 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 my hair looks awful. I haven't <laughs> cleaned my room. You know, as a matter of fact, I uh, I, I was kind of tossing around in bed, not really wanting to get out, and I, all of a sudden I hear my text message notification get off. So I'm like, oh, God, who's texting me at, at, You know, right now? So I get up, pick up my phone, I see this, and I'm just like, hell, it's about time. I uh, I am a little concerned about the lengths of the episodes and what that could mean. It's definitely going to be, I feel, a little more comedy oriented than anything else at that rate. It's, it's going to be kind of hard for it to continue any sort of uh, meaningful kind of space drama aspect to it, I think, at five minutes an episode. But then again, with 50 whole episodes, who knows? I think this may be a way for, you know, Kajishima to try and get the series back into people's heads and say, hey, look, it does sell. And that way he can push for a higher budget and a more traditional uh, series. I mean, this is we definitely called it OVA can't really be done. Nobody can afford to do those anymore. So you have to do some kind of a TV series. And in this case, it's going to be pretty much going straight to DVD as well. So. So it's, uh, it's interesting, the implications of it, and I'm definitely, uh, you know, I'm interested, I'm excited, because holy crap, a new Tenshi series, I never thought I'd see the light of the day for that again. I, I definitely, I kind of want to see some things on it before I, all of my concerns are uh, squashed. You brought up another good point that I wanted to bring up, is that, you know, this is, this could be something for them to kind of see how much people react to Tenchi and if they react positively they'll make more I think that's what this I think that's what this ultimately is the city of Takahashi in Okayama is absolutely raising money to to have a Tenchi Muyo anime be made 
and they've made they've raised $165,000 to do it. So they're on the right track. This series is not meant to be quote unquote important. It's absolutely important, obviously, because it's new Tenchi. Oh my god, give it to me now. But I think this series is going to be kind of like the litmus test, so to speak. It'll be see how many people will do that. How much is how much emphasis are people going to see or go after products with Tenchi again? And if so, that will be the the definitive yes or no on whether or not a new series is going to come out. I think too it's worth noting that Nippon Television Network Corp or Tokyo MX TV, which they're a big company. It appears that they either own slash bought, or they're at the very least they're partnered with Hulu Japan. So it's probably not far from guessing that they could very easily run these snippets, and then we could see it over here on Hulu like a simulcast. I mean, it's probably not big enough, being only five minutes long, to be a simulcast, but Hulu over here in the States has ran like mini short episode type things that are part of a series. Uh, in their lineup that's in the anime section. So there's a good chance we could see it subbed pretty quickly, actually. That would be doubly exciting, I think. That is exciting. It would be nice if uh, Crunchyroll or Hulu picked up these shorts and would play them in between episodes or something. That'd be awesome. I I still can't get over how awesome that title is. They're definitely ch trying to, at least in the title, channel back to uh, what made some of the classic series so memorable like Ten the Tenchi Muyo in love movies definitely a very classic uh nostalgic title oh wow, well, yeah. i got alchemy of love going in my head i didn't Dimension even of love i didn't even think that uh it's not listed as a Tenchi Muyo Ryo Oki type deal that damn yeah hmm interesting it's worth i don't think we've mentioned it before either so far and it's important is that it's supposed to start the episodes, or not really episodes, I guess we should really call them shorts, but the shorts will start airing on weekday night or evening hours in Japan in October. That means they'll probably be on during prime time. Well, not only that, but if you think about it, Comiket is generally around that same time frame. I think that's winter Comiket. I'll have to pull up a wiki here in a second, take a look exactly when it is, but it's either summer or winter. So we'll more than likely get a, a lot more reveal out of that. And of course, stay tuned to Tenchi Forum for accurate translations. That's another thing, too. Um, we know that Masaki Kajishima in his doujins, he likes talking about the projects that he's working on, but he never has once mentioned any of, any of the other Tenchi continuities. I'm, we just take that to assume that he prefers they didn't exist, but we don't know. We just know for a fact that he never talks about them. So I'm wondering... Whether or not he will talk about this in his summer comic head dojins, and I think that would pretty conclusively answer his level of involvement. If in his summer dojin he doesn't mention it at all, I think that would pretty well conclude um, that he has nothing to do with with Tenshi Muyo love. Uh, whereas if he talks about it, I think that'll in indicate a larger involvement on his part. So we'll just have to wait and see. And yes, stay tuned to Tenshi Forums translations. It, that will be it. That will be the telling mark is if he completely ignores Tenshi Muyo Love and his doujins, we know for a fact that he, it's not going to follow the OVA continuity because then he will, he will have said something very profound about it, if profound is the right word. It's one of the other reasons why I was concerned about it because it's, it seems like it's kind of being made as more of a really long-running infomercial type deal. Like, hey, everybody should come to this, this area because we're really cool and we have stuff. And it, just a little worried that it could become more of like, you know, Tenchi and all them going shopping in districts and visiting locales and not actually really being too character specific, but more just like, oh, look at the look at the locations. Look at where we are. Well, yes, this is a real world location. Come visit today. They kind of want more of an anime show than a tourism pamphlet in fluid motion but uh i guess we'll have to wait and see exactly how they're going to handle it i'm just afraid it's going to turn into one of those like you know 30s era family comedies where the, you know they stop talking and all of a sudden they turn to the camera and say you know what I, goes really good with breakfast with my wife 
a box of Wheaties. And that's the jingle plays while they just sit there staring at the camera, hamming it up, and then they go back to the scene again like, Jesus, I don't want that for Tenchi, please. It's not, again, I think it'll be like Italia. I think it'll be short little increments of them doing things in Takahashi, or uh, they might even go back to the Misaki Shrine. Who knows? It is in Okiyama Prefecture. But I don't... I think what'll probably happen is they'll probably have, like, ad inserts, like, on the stuff they have, but I don't think it'll be, like you know, directly looking at the screen be like, or, you know, like Tommy Lee Jones does those adverts in Japan where he's like, drink boss, uh, coffee. Like, I don't think it'll be like that. I think it'll be, they'll have inserts to stuff and they'll go to places in Takahashi and have fun doing there, but it will be the Tenchi gang going to Takahashi, not the Tenchi gang promoting Takahashi, like, at a face value, like a commercial. Yeah, I don't think in any way we should be expecting a uh, more serious or continuity-minded series. This is definitely what it says on the tin. This is going to be short, fun, with the purpose of boosting tourism in this town. Which, like I said, is not a terrible thing for, for, for a Tenchi series. I'm hopeful that if this thing is popular, that it could lead to more interest in a new Tenchi series, a full-fledged series. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm I'm also hoping for fun in this series as well, but I think the true implications of this series is that Tenchi is coming back. Like and now we know like it is officially coming back. Whether this is the end or a grand new beginning, that's what we're waiting to see and that's what the excitement is all about. How does that go? The pain of destruction is the joy of rebirth. Indeed. I'm I'm excited because I'm sick to death of convoluted plots. I could use, you know, eight and a half ish episodes of the Tenchi Gang just having fun and not having to worry about goddesses or superpowers. I mean that's cool, don't get me wrong. And I would absolutely love to see a Tenchi Universe too. And I hope that this will lead to that. But I it it's it's good right now. Like it's it's not gonna be weighed down by anything, hopefully. I think I think it'll be good. For yep. those that don't bother to look up the wiki pages, Comic Cat eighty six is supposed to be August fifteenth through seventeenth. Comic Cat eighty seven, as best as anybody can tell, is gonna be December of twenty fourteen. Yeah, so stay tuned to those dates. We uh if all goes well, we should hopefully have Dojin translations up within uh hopefully a few weeks of those days. If not sooner. How how quickly did we get the last the uh the winter the last winter dojin out? Same day. Same day, yep. So be be prepared, Tenshi fandom. Yeah, as soon as I got thirteen twelve in my hands, that afterward was the first thing I did same day. Yep. Um I don't know, I just want to conclude by saying, yeah, good day to be a Tenshi fan. Uh stay tuned to Tenshi Forum and we will be with you all. So come join us. We will be updating everyone as we go along because you can bet this, this is big. This is Tenchi and it's exciting and it's everything that, maybe not everything that we've wanted, but it could be the beginning to everything. So, if you like what you heard, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on iTunes, Tumblr, Twitter, every social media aspect you can think of, and make sure that... If you want to be in on the discussion that is Tenchi Muyo and the new Tenchi Muyo Love series, that you check out TenchiForum.com, because we're awesome. Until next time, stay gold.